Go UTC. Warren and Griffin cheers our men and women in Asheville. Warren and Griffin, your five-star local law firm. Well, the Southern Conference tournament was today, and Ben Bobick, of course, was in Asheville, North Carolina, at the Hera Cherokee Center covering the game. He has details on what happened today. Welcome inside the Harris Cherokee Center in Asheville, North Carolina, home of the Southern Conference Tournament. The Chattanooga Mocs battling ETSU in the SOCON Tournament quarterfinals on Saturday, but they had to do so without all-conference first-team guard Malachi Smith and forward Darius Banks, both starters due to a positive COVID-19 test and contact tracing. We talked a lot this week about storylines in March. Unfortunately for the Mocs, this is probably a story they will not want to revisit. A short-handed fourth-seeded Mox taking on fifth-seeded ETSU. Chattanooga won the last two, but they had to flip the script on their game plan due to Smith and Banks not being available. We knew a little bit ahead of time, and uh, so we were able to make a couple adjustments that 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 gave us a puncher's chance in that. But uh, you know, it's obviously a tough thing. But we we you know we subbed in two guys that have started for us already. Early on, it was sluggish. The Mocs taking advantage of a slow start by ETSU. Josh Ianni a couple big buckets as Chattanooga raced out to an 11-2 lead. But a 9-0 Bucks run to close the half gave them a 23-21 lead at the break. And ETSU doing a great job of bottling up Mox senior guard David Jean Baptiste. Zero points for DJB in the first half. They did a good job of, with the bar pressure and they kind of, kind of loaded in on that, so they did a good job on that, so it added a little bit of pressure. Second half, ETSU looking to start to run away with it. They go up 10, but here come the Mox and David Jean Baptiste finally awake as Chattanooga is able to cut the Bucks' lead to five. Back and forth, these two went, and when it appeared they were going to run away again, a couple big buckets from Jamal Walker cuts the ETSU lead to one at one point. I thought he was aggressive. Uh, he attacked the rim. He, he had some mid-range stuff that he was aggressive uh, uh, to shoot. Um, and he made a big three down the stretch, too. So uh, that was good. He made two of them. But the Bucks kept punching back as they kept their lead to two possessions. And guard David Sloan started to take over down the stretch with big-time buckets, scoring 11 of his 17 in the game's final 10 minutes. As ETSU was able to stretch the lead out, Chattanooga couldn't get anything to fall as the Bucks send the mocks packing on Saturday afternoon with a 63-53 win in the SOCON tournament quarterfinals we didn't have a great shooting day either you know you get to tournament time you have to you have to have a couple guys that go out there and say oh man pretty the guy shot the ball pretty well and we didn't have that uh for the most part today so that was that tough loss um it's a great group of guys love this team and so that makes it a little more difficult even to, to handle it just the timing of it all before the biggest game of the season it just stinks. There's no other way to put it. If there's any silver lining, East Hamilton grad Jamal Walker turned in a gutsy performance as described by head coach Lamont Paris, but it just wasn't enough. This will conclude our coverage from the 2021 Southern Conference Basketball Tournament. Chattanooga Mox fans, it wasn't the ending you all wanted, but I think it's important we're all grateful that we all got to see a season this year. For the final time, reporting in Asheville, Ben Bobick, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports.